Whoa, they're going falling out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you got three of them back here. They're going to fall out. Just tell me what you need. If you see me walking up, I'm just hanging out. If you see me trying to get your attention, I just need to run something by you. All I ask you, keep me in the loop. Like, uh, hey, we got four cars. Probably going to be pulling them out in an hour. All right. Whatever it is, and so we can get uh, James over here. Perfect. Uh, we'll host you however we can, and we'll get out of your way if we need to as well. Sounds good. Appreciate it. So I'm going to move over here right now, and we're going to get the ball rolling. Absolutely. Do so, your thing. All right. Awesome. Good, yep. Because now here's where the game begins. You have to get in your boat, go out there, locate a vehicle. The moment you locate a vehicle, you got to come back to shore, grab yourself a buoy and a marker, go back out and mark it. The first person to mark one today, $150 in cash. Right. Car number two, they will get $100. Car number three, $75. Car number four, five, and anything after that, $50 per vehicle. Now, after that happens, we're going to have all five buoys out there. You'll be able to see them. Then everybody needs to be working as a team to pull these vehicles out. We have every vehicle needs to come out before we move on to the next location. Now, here's the thing. Jacob Grubbs, Chaos Divers, you're missing round one. You're going to learn to be punctual and show up on time tomorrow. Britain, Depths of History. <laughs> I think you'll probably be here on time tomorrow as well. Huh, Adam Brown Adventures. Yeah. Even though he's not here either, he's supposed to be. His link will be in the description, and I bet you he will not be late tomorrow morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's going to be a fun week. We're going to be pulling cars for four days with show and tell on the fifth day. Our goal is 25 cars in these first four days. 30. I think we are going to move it to 30, Doug. Go! Get your boat! Oh, okay, I'm going. Baby. Yes. I'm Nug who explores, and I'm smart. No. Today we're in Fort Worth, and we're going to have ourselves a ball. Right, so, so when's the last time you drove a boat? Five years plus. <laughs> It's just not going to be fair. He's competing against a pro. No, that's not really a real pro. You just got to teach him, teach, just show him. We have a very important job oh, for you. What's up? Okay, we're trying to give Nug and Dylan the advantage, so we need you to go distract Adam and Britt. Well, I'm going to slow you down here. Hey, I'm going? Matt. Hey, good to meet you, Matt. How's it going? Adam. Adam, nice to meet you. And uh, so, you know. Is your motor to that <laughs> okay, first thing we gotta get the motor running. Yep. Oh, you scrap. That's That's I gotta get over here. So, so I'm, I'm pretty good at logistics. I make sure that you guys have uh, food and stuff. That's only if you're friendly to me. <laughs> so, uh... Over there, where he just turned around, there was a car over there, and he totally missed it. Now, you have Dylan over here across the lake. Now, he's turning around right now. So I think he might have actually spotted a car. So he's actually spun around, and I think that he's going to find the first car right now. We'll see. Are you getting a clean image of the ground? I think I got a car. Really? Right there. He's looking at it close, he's looking at it close. We'll see if, we'll see if he points, we'll see what ends up happening. Take a video. It. Of the screen. Oh, yeah. it's. <laughs> it's gone already? Yeah, I, I, it, the imaging was kind of. Still getting the hang of the sonar. Oh, you got it. Okay. Go back to shore. Is that, yeah. is that it? That looks like a car to me, buddy. He's, He's taking a picture of it. He's like, Ma, Ma, I found my first car. And I don't know if you picked up on this or not, but his mom actually surprised him with an airline ticket from Redmond, Oregon to fly him here for a night. So he's, he's here for two days here in Fort Worth. Okay, now look, Dylan is cruising back here. He's like, he's like, oh, I got it. He's like, I know, he, he goes, I know, I know I got a car, I got a car, I got a car. And he's coming back as fast as he can. Now, now Nug over there, Nug might be on a car. As long as he just holds that line, he's gonna find car number two. Jared, show Jared what you found. Screw Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I watched you as you were over there. I was like, oh, he's spinning over it. He knows he's right on the car. Yeah, I was look. I'm sitting because uh -huh. I was looking at it because I was sitting. I'm like, I'm gonna start over there because there's no railing. Yeah. If he says yes, go yeah. grab that first buoy. Yeah, I, I would get a buoy before he gets back because. Yeah, I'll, it'll be on. Uh oh. Wait. How many? How many pounds of pressure is that? Oh yeah, like uh, between those two together, about 3,600 pounds of pressure. <laughs> Who did this? Probably. <laughs> Probably Josh. 
What? Hey, I can tell you, you probably have Let them do it? All right. You better hurry and get number one before Doug gets up here. Yeah, slide it up and off. Doesn't help when you have a... You gotta get number, if you take number five, that's only worth 50 bucks. You better help him. Holy crap. Smash his fingers last time. Maybe all right. Watch Nug run with number one. <laughs> there you go. Right now, technically, no car is hooked. So it's really the first person that hooks a car. You can't just show up and grab a, grab a buoy. We're making these rules up as we go along, by the way. Just as anybody wants to know, like, hey, Jared, you're not being fair. We're trying to be as fair as possible, and we're making, like I said, we're making the rules up as we go. So, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but the Brit that's back there, he just keeps on talking while Nug and Dylan over there, they're already, like, like that's 150, that's over $250 that's already been claimed out there. And they're just still like, hey, here's. You do know that there's also another boat that's completely set up. All you gotta do is just throw a motor on there and you can go take that boat over there right now as well you if you want. Do you have a motor? I have a, no, you gotta put your motor on there. Uh, the week, if too. If I was a betting man, Jared, sounds like Adam and I are gonna be using teamwork today. All right. And uh, sounds like my prize is gonna be cut in half. so slow you can't even tell. He doesn't even have battery. battery. So they don't expect me to switch into this nice boat with a trolley no motor and then we're gonna find the cars. What's with? There's accuracy involved in this. You can run out and say you found a car, go out there and put a buoy and think you're gonna win your prize. But if I dive on a car, and the magnet's not on the car, I get the prize. <laughs> yeah. How long have we been at this? Uh, 25 minutes or so, I don't see any buoys out. We should see buoys out by now. Got a lock. Buoy's on, number one. Let's go to shore now. But look at those two. They're just like going for a boat ride. They don't even know where they're going. <laughs> we got a plan, Jared. Right now, I'll tell you, it's, a, it's an extremely amazing plan, by the way. <laughs> they should have two. Listen, before you mark it, I would suggest that you rescan that. I want to make sure that you understand what you're looking at. I see it right there. There's some hawks. It's right there. Here, zoom in. Zoom in on that. I'm zooming in. I'm hey, seriously though, I want you to identify that there's two there. That they're they're like within three feet of one another. Oh no! have a buoy there, but I think they have the buoy there to mark both cars, but there's only one buoy. Oh, because they only were allowed to take one buoy. Gotcha. Wait, okay. did Jared say if they found two cars, but it's whoever hooks the car first? Yes, he did. <laughs> so they get here. Okay, touch, fill the bottom. Now control the, the motor. Fill the bottom. We found it first. But you have to lock onto you it. You said you have to lock it. <laughs> now hook these magnets together now. True. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Use your knowledge, young Padwan. Life scan. I know. I'm on. See it on life scan? I'm on it. Throw it in the water? No. Is it? Are you willing to risk it? I'm willing to risk it for right, the biscuit. Tie it up and throw it in. Because I'm like right here. Tie it up and throw it in. I got it. I got it. I got we, it. We got something too now. I got it right here. Yep. Oh no. This is it. Oh god. Okay. What the heck is going on? This is it. So we need to recap it. We need to know who did what, what, what moment in time, and who's ahead and who's winning. And I also forgot to say, at the end of the week, whoever has the most cars. Because at the end of the week, we're also going to have a $1,000 bonus for whoever finds the most cars. So today to start off with, 
who ended up, and this, this one was like almost a photo finish between the, these two teams, between Nug and Dylan's team, who actually locked on to the first car? Obviously, I'm going to say I did, but I don't really know. We was really, really close. I think, <laughs> I think a videographer was up. Car Carson had his eyes on yeah, it. Carson, Carson, who actually Wait, the locked on first? Nice. First 150, so that puts oh. Nug second oh. car. Oh. All right. So second up then, we've got Nug ended up with car number two. Who ended up with car number three and what was it? I believe that you guys came in car number three. Yep. Yeah, we got car number three and uh, another car. Well, we don't know <laughs> on that one. About so that potential. So car. I do know that car number four is in question right now between the two of you. Yeah. Do. I do know that Nug ended up with car number five across the way. So Nug ends up with another $50 as well. So currently Nug. 150 to you today so far. Dylan, 150, 75, but we need to figure out. So, car number four. We were coming back here, and these guys say, Hey, we got two cars over there. And then we're like, Okay, let's go look. We go over there, there's only one buoy. And so he said, <laughs> Did Jared say if they found two cars, but it's whoever hooks the car first? Yes, he did. <laughs> found both cars on his screen. And then he's like, there they are. And then we, we figured out where, where the cars were and he locked on one. They came up, they were like, oh, we gotta get it too. Now, now, now those cars are close together. They are close yes. together. Did you lock onto the same car they locked onto first or did you so lock on onto the other life, one? On the life scope, um, I, when I put down the magnet, I made sure it was on the car that was farthest away from where their buoy was located because I looked down at the line. He was confident. I said, you willing to risk this? If, you, if you're wrong, you're willing to risk it? He said, I'm willing to risk it. He dropped I said, it I'm and we real... came back. Okay, yeah, because what if he didn't tighten up his marker, yeah. his buoy, and what if his buoy is like swinging all the way out here? <laughs> we had a long rope up. on it's ours, so I think it's, we got no, I tied it. I think we got both I tied cars. it together. I tied it together. So but what well, you have to back. mention, Jared, One I mean, yeah. I was already grabbing two buoys before you even said anything, before <laughs> we even knew about two cars. So, I mean, I was already ready before it even happened. I understand that. So, Doug is somewhere. He's already suiting up. He's getting in. So, right now, we can't award car number four at this so moment in time. We the red buoy. We don't. So, if there's two orange buoys on the same car, you'll know. It's a okay. face If there's an orange and a red on the same car, you'll know that we, we, so, we're, we're second. So, Doug, I would probably go down on those two cars first to identify. Who the winner is of car number four. Okay. And I know for a fact it's on a car because I tried to pull it up and it was dragging the boat. So. Okay. I mean, you could be tangled up on a log. I don't know. That's what mine was doing. <laughs> we'll find out. So we'll find out. Right now, divers are going to suit up, get in the water, and coordinate with Doug. Today, do, we're going to rig the cars. And we have this great, big, amazing, I keep hearing all these things about this amazing <laughs> custom skid steer that's coming in to just yank these cars out of the water. I don't even know what it looks like yet, but from what it sounds like, we don't want to miss it. <laughs> when you do go down with Doug, or any, if you go down on any of these cars, make sure that you're pulling a plates and identifying. Do we have windows up? Are the windows down? Are we clearing the cars? Also, pull the plates. If there's plates on them, pull them. Okay. And the plates need to come off if there's a plate on them before, or we've identified that the car is clear. Do you have tools to break them? You really just asked me that question. You are a diver and you need to have your own tools. I am not providing that tool for you. So you should have a knife that you go like this and you should be able to go bloop, and take this off. There you go. All right. Sounds good. We're good. Let's go get the cars. Right. I mean, we're talking here. Let's go get it. Coordinate with Doug. Let's go do it. All right. Doug's going to coordinate underwater today with you guys. All right. Have fun. There's five cars out here. So he's trying to locate them. And I went towards the right front corner of the lake and I ID'd a car. I struggled a little bit to get it, uh, but eventually I did get it. It looks like, man, I mean, honestly, it, I'm optimistic that it could be a Crown Vic or some sort of four door. It's on its wheels. It was a really good shot, really easy car to find. And then I went across the lake all the way to the middle. And uh, what looks like I found a pickup truck could be full size, but it's also sitting on its wheels. And I got those marked. Those are clearly vehicles, 100%. We have no doubt in my mind that those two are there. And I know that the other guys found a car upset upside down two suspected cars back here. So it's been my first time in five years to actually be on a boat um, and actually first time to use sonar. Um, Jared and the others make it look so much easier than it really is. So my first car that I dropped, it took a quite a bit of going back and forth to trying to find the car. But once I got the hang of it and knew where my, how the system works, it came really easy. If you have the means to do it, you should do it because it's really simple. It might be hard in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it's it's pretty simple. One that's the red one um, that Doug's uh, diving on right now is the one that I put on.
I get a picture of those plates? That's a truck with an SUV. So the, the red and the white were on the same vehicle? Yeah. Nice. Whatever that means. That means that Dylan won. Yeah. On to the next. Those cars are going to be loose. He has to hear about this one because he might, the moment we tell him, he might be like, oh, yeah. you found it? Like, right. that's what we what think. Is it, what, what, what is ah! it? A Rolls Royce? Well, we can't say yet. It's a Jaguar. Ah! It's a. Don't, don't give in. Lamborghini, don't Ferrari, in. Porsche. Yeah, don't, don't Corvette. Are you trying to read me here? Corvette. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get buddy. Camaro. Or we can go over there because he's running plates over there, the plate. right? Which plate is it off of? It's this one here. It's that one there? No, no, it's this one. That's the one in the back. Yeah. The one in the back. So that's going to be a newer plate. Uh, I would say probably about 10 years old, 15 years yeah, so maybe. Yeah, that's September. Oh, a year. Tesla? We can't tell you. Is it just eating you up inside, though? I know it's something cool. So, yeah, it's eating you up. <laughs> it is something like, I've never seen September. before. September. Sure. Yeah, this, this one has to stand out like a sore thumb. Like, okay. it, the people know in like a like a bolo okay a pink chrysler hot okay. does that pink. hot pink yes there's a hot pink chrysler that's missing in the area that, like everybody's like be on the lookout for this one i have to pull the reports because i don't hear every call that goes out right but uh or it could happen at midnight or something like that i will tell you i'm doing some preliminary investigation uh somebody pulled out a red there's an 89 89 vehicle that's it looks like that one's going to be a stolen vehicle okay uh maybe connected with that i haven't uh, I need to look at the report and see what mm -hmm. happened on that. Um, but it's shown to be stolen. I'll go run this one right now. All right. Get a picture of it. If it's fake, I'd get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's why it's in here. It is. Yeah. 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 If maybe I was driving this thing, yeah. I'd get rid of it. PT thing. Cruiser. And, and that, this one, right? That is? No idea. Let me see. I if thought I you had something for cool. You. But it's three two two Y. Two U Y, I think. No two. No two W. Two W Y. That's a W. In what year? 94. 94? Yeah. Tow truck should be here in a few minutes, and since all the media is here, and that one's the easiest, and it's the brightest, we'll pull the pink one first. So basically, Jeremy was able to take me over to the buoy that he had marked uh, with the car that he was able to locate on sonar. I dove down, two to three foot viz, it was super, super murky, but once I got down to the bottom, I made my way to the back of the car and located a moss-covered license plate. So I didn't even need any tools to break it off. I kind of just crumbled it off like the corners with my fingers and it just immediately came up in pieces. So we put the pieces together and we have the license plate on there now and it is ideable. So we're going to be able to run it in their systems and see if it was stolen or involved in insurance fraud. And it looks like a Ford, some sort of small, small car. I'm not really sure. Uh, I was wiping off the back of it, but it just got way too murky and I just came back up to the surface because I had that license plate that was breaking apart. But it's really cool. I'm super happy to be here and it's awesome that I was able to dive on that car and get the license plate. Who's James? So we have James Bennett, the owner of a beer selling here in Fort Worth. Now I gotta back up because when I first heard that you know the owner of Beards Towing, I'm like, I'm gonna see another one of you know a Diesel Brothers or you know another one of these. So tell tell me about the uh, history of Beards Towing and and your machine and the whole progression for you. I mean, so uh, I bought this company uh, just over ten years ago. Uh, we started with four trucks. We're up to about 34 trucks. Wow. Um, and then we did a lot of stolen vehicle recoveries for the police departments like Fort Worth. And the problem is, is getting one of these long wreckers down into there to do it. So uh, I patented this device and built this in our garage. And then hopefully next year, this will be going out on the market uh, for other towing companies to buy. You know.
drop straight down on the on top of the, the car. We shouldn't kick up that much silly. Yeah, I know. Hey, if that, if that magnet missed, I don't want to hear about it. Oh, yeah, I heard plenty about it. So Jeremy, you're up next. Who's going in with you? Thank <laughs> you. 
Back here, they're gonna fall out. Yep. Behind them. Oh, they got somebody in the water, but not getting behind them in case they fall out. Well, we just yeah. a loser. Yeah, you were right, Doug. Not a thing problem. Oh, there's cash in it. Look at all the cash. Oh, no, they're open. They're all open. Oh. I'm gonna move them up. Right, yeah, just throw them up on the bed. Yeah. Yeah, look, Jacob's fingerprints are all over him. <laughs> uh, it looks clear from back here. Is the hole in it? Uh, the window's gone. Who's oh, holding it? Man. Look at that. There it is. Oh my god. Yep. I'm looking at the fishing line of people getting in the grass. There's another safe that car. John, oh, Corey, John, what's up? So the unfortunate news in all of this is that we have this big event that's coming up on Saturday. This Bronco can't go, this vehicle can't go, the ATMs can't go because we have, what do I want to say, um, crime scene, robbery division, Federal, federal implications. Is that what oh, we are this, doing with that this, now, aren't we? This many ATM safes in one location. I mean, Fort Worth's got a big police department, but this is a this is a huge case right here. So Definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to Buddy as to uh, yeah, like what some of the next steps are, and if they are caught, what are they looking at? Here, here's another uh, car that you guys have successfully pulled with the help of Beard's towing that the general public will not be able to see. Yes. You know, a lot of things that you're pulling, you know, sometimes it involves a cold case, but a lot of times it involves a crime in general, and that's yeah. exactly what's taking place here. So talk to me about the crimes, or, okay. you know, and so let's just kind of talk to the sure. audience here. We're dealing with auto theft. We're dealing with auto theft. How, what do people in the auto theft world normally get as far as a sentence in the Fort Worth area? Assault, Officer Sullivan does a lot of that stuff. 
uh, he would know, and I can get that for you here. Uh, but you'll be doing some time. You'll but, be doing some time. But now, now we bring safes and we bring ATMs into it. Right. ATMs yeah. are federally yeah. insured, so this is like a federal yes. crime now, right? Yes. Even if you go into a local town, city, whatever, and you commit a crime like a robbery at a bank, that is a federal crime. So you can be in a population of ten people and you're still committing a federal crime right. at, a, at a bank. And so when you've got ATMs in the back of here, when you've got, we don't know where the safes come from. Our detectives will go through that. No telling where they came from. They may have just ran a bunch of what we would call licks. They hit a bunch of licks that night. Right. And a uh, safe was one of them and an ATM was another one. So uh, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what these guys all pull together. You've pulled two cars out here, both stolen, both full of ATMs and safes. So pretty interesting pool. Pretty interesting pool. So what I want to say is if you are the criminal that actually did it and you're watching this right now, just keep in mind, I didn't pull them out. I had nothing to do with it. It was Britain over here and somebody else. Anyway, um, you should be a little nervous right now because they're not going to be processing this yeah, stuff. So the pull out is from you guys hooking up to it, okay? Okay. But then you got to look at the opposite side, the push in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my guess on this and the cases that we work, they probably actually use this vehicle to ram into the back. And they always back into them. And we're not giving tips on how to steal ATMs, right. but they always back into them so they can throw it in a bigger vehicle and be able to drive off to the front so they don't ruin the engine. Okay, So that makes sense. This big dent in the back here and this one here, minus this right here, because I think that's it's pulled that's this from way. It being pulled, right? Everything pushed this way, uh, more than likely this vehicle was the one actually used in the crime. Okay. More than likely. That would make Obviously, sense. Obviously, I don't know, but I can tell you from experience um, that, yeah, this... This vehicle was used in this car. <laughs> Somewhere along the way, Carson will throw up numbers as to who is currently ahead in this week's race as bing, to bing, 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 bing. dollar amount and cars. <laughs> so who's winning dollar-wise, who's winning car-wise, and by the end of the week, whoever has the most cars will win an additional $1,000. You are not going to want to miss the next three episodes coming up. Be sure to subscribe to everybody. We'll see you on the next video.